Okay, welcome back to Melissa Hager TV. Whoa, what a full room I have today. How exciting. I know all of you are probably freaking out, peeing your pants right now. Like, oh my gosh, look at, you know who that is? Yeah, of course I know who that is. I'm so excited. I have the Greta Van Fleet parents in studio today. How exciting. Howdy. Thanks. Hey, thanks for having you us. You guys, thanks for coming. Okay, so we have, for those of you that are <laughs> fresh, brand new, just uh, getting to know the band. We have Dan and Lori. You can That's imagine. Dan. That's Lori. That's <laughs> <laughs> Daniel's parents. Thanks Daniel's for the clarification. <laughs> <laughs> and Kelly and Karen. Hello. The rest of the band. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, guys, I'm so pumped that you guys helped me get this corset put together for Pink Night Palooza. Look how cool it is. That is very cool. That's awesome. Isn't Sweet. that fun? I'm gonna, I'm gonna so show. Give it a little spin. Yeah, so it's got the decorations on this side. How cool. We are very proud. It is and so cool. All here. their autographs are on there. Yeah. All the boys signed it. Yeah. So it, this is kind of crazy. So here's... Here's the moms of these young boys. Like, oh, look at our boys signed up. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly and I are that's like, who? <laughs> 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 Yeah. That's not going to get modeled today. No. Oh, I thought Kelly was going to put it on. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Black leather, come on. I, I do imagine from mom to dad, that is a definitely a very different reaction, right? You're like, yeah, yeah my boys made it. <laughs> yeah, they've got a signed corset. They made it. <laughs> How fun. Well, and I'm sure they get asked for some pretty interesting things. To autograph, and some of it probably wildly inappropriate, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I've heard a few stories. Yeah, <laughs> and in the middle of some. So, Melissa, can you fill in the background on yes. you know, the origins of the course? Yet? They're like, hey, we saw some of your interviews on on YouTube with the Greta Van Fleet parents, and we were wondering if you could help us. You know, we have this big pink night, which I have attended before. It's usually five to 700 people. They raise $100,000, and all the money is in goes for their breast cancer navigation fund that helps people, local people, that for wigs and special fitting clothing and, and co-pays and doctor's appointments, stuff that insurance doesn't cover. And all that money is for that. And they're like, we want to, we have a celebrity bra or corset every year. And this year we want to do homegrown rock and roll. And we really want to feature the Greta Van Fleet boys. And I was like, oh my God, I got goosebumps again. And I just, it was crazy. I was like, I don't know. What if I, I don't know if I can pull this off. Like I, you know, I don't try to ask you guys for stuff. People ask me, especially through Instagram, people ask me for stuff all the time. Like I'm going to just go knock on your door and be like, here, <laughs> can you sign this baseball? Ball card blaze, you know, <laughs> but this was a big one. This, and this seemed well, important. This year they are online, right? Right. It's, it's, and, they're and not, they're not to, having the It has to be virtual this right. year. It mm -hmm. can't be a live event. So yeah. they're worried about yep. the funds because they use up every penny of it every year. So, yeah. anyways, you guys came through and it's just miraculous and awesome and everyone is so pumped the bras the all the bras and corsets got posted and the greta one took off right away awesome. it went they started a minimum bid at a hundred dollars and i think it jumped to 300 like within seconds oh. and now it's got i think um i think greta van fleet france fan club has it right now they're the oh. highest bidder but we have all wow. the way till uh thursday so, so all right online. yeah right. speculation yes. are you know, ten, twelve thousand dollars. So be awesome. and it's just sitting there right That's now great. with us, isn't that why? Yeah. There yeah. it is. So um have you guys been affected at all directly by breast cancer? Uh my mother has had breast cancer as is a survivor and my oldest sister is also a survivor. Oh wow. So it's hit our family twice. Um, okay. Luckily it was caught early, uh treated early, successfully and uh so no Great cause. Great yeah, cause. yeah, that's cool. You know, okay. we don't have any direct family members, but um, a really someone really close to us. One of the women that is like one of the, the boys' moms. You know, one of mm -hmm. those tribe people uh, has had it four times, four different kinds of breast cancer. Oh my gosh! And uh, man, and she made it through the first one. It was good for like three or four years. Second one, three or four mm -hmm. years. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, so now I think she's been three years cancer free from this Aww. fourth one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's uh, 
It's a tough it's one. A yeah, tough it's a tough thing. thing. And, and, and it's hitting people younger and younger. Mm-hmm. And from my last interaction with Hurley, my understanding is because we were locked down for so long, people weren't going to regular doctor's appointments and having checkups. Right. So they're yeah. actually experiencing a spike right now, yeah. a very big spike, mm-hmm. stuff they're catching from people not getting out and seeing their doctors. So here they're in a position to put the event virtually, which could potentially make the funds less because right. it's not an in-person party. Yeah. Right. But there's actually a greater need because we have this spike in yeah. our area of people getting diagnosed and needing help. Yeah. So it's like, you know, this whole thing. So the fact that you guys even jumped in to help with this is is incredible. So thank well, you it so is. much. You feel Absolutely. it's a good cause. Yeah, yeah. it's a great sure. cause. Awesome. It's a, yeah, so we're so thankful for the boys. You can go to hurleymc.com slash bid and get your uh, bid in there, and you can own this. You can oh. own this. Next Thursday, there will be a live auction at 7 p.m. That will start. It will stream online. If you check on Melissa Hager TV or any of my social medias, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok even, I'm sure, you can uh, find that bidding link. But if you check out the Hurley Hospital or pinknightpalooza.com and get your bid in on this corset that is signed by all the boys. Do you guys still recognize their signatures? I do. Yes, I we do. do. Aww. Yes, I see our sons right there There's... on the uh, right breast. Yeah. <laughs> is he a man? <laughs> He makes the sign first. Yeah. Yeah, he had the choice. He's like, I got the booby. Looks <laughs> good. That is so cool. Well, thank you so much. Very awesome. You guys, get on that website and get your bids in. Team up. Do it. Team up. Get with a couple other people. Team up so that you can you can trade it around and and like, hey, you got it this month. You got it this month because that baby's gonna get up there. And I would I would love to see one of the true fans that yeah, is always watching and yeah. hanging yeah, out get the bra. Yeah. Very unique and yeah. Yes, that is a one of a kind piece mm-hmm. that will like never. The, I like the peace sign. Yeah. I like the fringe. Yeah. It's pretty it cool. Is so cool. All right, cool. All right. Thanks, guys. On behalf of Jake, <laughs> Josh, Sam, and Danny of Greta Van Fleet, <laughs> thank you so much for bidding on the corset. And the boys cannot wait to see who wins that corset. Hey, bye. I love you guys so much. I'm going to stop. 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 I'